Welcome to the EBSCO ERIC Advanced Search Tutorial. Use the control bar to pause the tutorial at any time. You may need to use the scroll bars to position the page correctly on your screen. Use speakers or headphones if you wish to listen to the audio. The default search mode in this example is find all my search terms. In this case ERIC puts AND between all the words we type. Boolean search allows us to enter words joined by AND same as find all my search terms, or the same as find any of my search terms, or not, useful for eliminating words we don't want. Phrase search looks for all the words we enter together as a phrase. This needs to be used carefully or we'll get zero results. Some words such as a, for, the, etc. are not searched in a phrase search. Smart text searching takes a block of text we copy and paste into the search window and looks for articles with those words. However, it includes any mention of the search terms and they may not be the main topic of the article. Apply related words searches synonyms and plurals of our search terms, giving us more results. Don't check full text as this limit searches to articles available full text through EBSCO. Articles may be available full text in another database to which the library subscribes but they won't appear if we check full text. It's usually better to start searching using terms from the thesaurus, but sometimes we can't find suitable thesaurus terms. In that case, the advanced search provides a number of useful ways of focusing a keyword search. The advanced search drop-down menu allows searchers to perform specific searches. However, care must be taken when choosing options or the search will return zero results. For example, all text is a very broad search and will return a high number of results, many of them irrelevant. However, choosing AB abstract will limit our results to terms used in the abstract, giving us fewer results with higher relevance. We are looking for articles on standards-based mathematics, so we enter those terms in the search box. The latest version of ERIC has some minor interface and behavior changes. Below are the most noteworthy. ERIC updates automatically when you click on a limit or source type. You'll need to wait for the first limit to be applied before adding a second one. The abstract preview and add to folder icons are now together on the right side of the result list. Their functions are otherwise unchanged. Clicking on the title of an article shows how ERIC is searching for our terms. The search terms are shown in bold text. Note that our search terms are not found together, but are scattered. We can get better results by searching standards-based mathematics as a phrase. To do this, we return to our results list, select Advanced Search, and choose Boolean Phrase Search, and Search. This gives us 135 hits. Again, we'll click on the title. Note that this time, the results include our search phrase. Other useful information includes a list of descriptors. These are other subject terms that have been applied to this article, which can be useful in expanding our search in new directions. Let's return to our result list. Truncation is a way of searching for multiple word endings. We'll truncate mathematics to M-A-T-H asterisk, so we search for all forms of the word including maths, mathematical, etc. We will also use a proximity search, N4, meaning it will search for any variation of mathematics within four words of the phrase standard space. This new search increases our number of hits to 147. A way to improve the quality of our results is to select the peer-reviewed checkbox. This limits our results to articles that have been approved by experts in that subject area. Click the Update button. This reduces our hits to 54. 
Clicking the Show More link reveals other ways of focusing our research. We select Elementary Secondary Education in the Education Level box. and search. This reduces our results to 12. If this is too few, we can click on the search history to go back and revise or rerun previous searches or change some of our search options. This ends the EBSCO ERIC advanced search tutorial. For more tutorials, return to the menu.